Hey, welcome, Juha Heikin Heime. Thank you. Fantastic to have you here. Thank you for joining the summit. Uh, my, my pleasure. My pleasure, Marcus. This is, uh, this is uh, enjoyable and, and jiggling. I'm looking forward. <laughs> hey, this guy, he has made a fantastic career. You started in the, in the marine business. You sold ships and then you went to... Uh, you have tell your story. I don't remember all the things, but I, I, I admire the, the, your track. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a naval architect. I'm proud to be a naval architect. I also have a master's in financing. Uh, I've been working for the last past 40 years in international business. Okay. I have started as a, as a ship designer. You always have to do your basic work, so you know what you're talking about. Okay. So I'm a ship designer. Then I've been uh, quite internationally working. I've been uh, living one year in States, uh, uh, close to two years in Asia and Singapore. I've been living uh, six years in France. Okay. Uh, I think international business is, is, is very interesting. Uh, it gets me very, very motivated to work with other cultures, to other people. Yeah. Uh, did you get your family to join you or what, what did you do? Yes, it? I'm, a, I'm a family man. Uh, okay. Uh, Family always joined, uh, although they didn't have the time to join me to Singapore, which was a very, very hard job. Uh, okay. The kids were so small, so we took a little bit of time before, the, and then they called me back, uh, back to Finland again. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a, yeah. Uh, but then last 15 years, I think it's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, uh, I was called back to the shipbuilding business. I was heading, uh, heading the Finnish shipyards and the French shipyard, Chantier d'Atlantic in France, oh. that was under Arke Yards. It was about, uh, well, close to 10,000 people. Oh. You know, big, big business, lots of people, <laughs> welding, steel, you know, making, making these type of, a, these type of a passenger vessels. Uh, oh, this is right. a small ferry. Uh, I, I signed the contract of Oasis, thanks a billion. Oh, uh, we made two of them. Uh, <laughs> so that was, that was interesting business uh, to be a president and, and uh, CEO of such a, such a big business. Uh, Alke Yards was a, a, a stock listed company in Norway. And then it was sold to Koreans STS. Okay. Uh, uh, very, very, very interesting times, very rewarding, big business. But strategically, maybe a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, uh, not so, not so uh, fine tuned strategies. Okay. No. But not you have shown the other boat that you have on your... Ah, okay. That, that, <laughs> that, was, that was actually given to me. Uh, this is a new boat. Uh, I sold the Helsinki shipyard uh, to, the, to the Russians. Oh, and they gave me a, 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 a new boat. <laughs> I have no, uh, no detailed... Uh, participation in the war, I would say. Oh maybe. boy, so, so, so you've been in big business, but then your path went further. Tell about that. Then I was called, I was called to Napa. Uh, Napa. Napa is a world's uh, leading marine software company. A yeah. Finnish company making software, about 200 people. 100 in Finland, 100 in, in, uh, outside in Asia. We were doing software in Romania, India. Uh, so small company. Uh, average age was was uh, 30, 34 when I joined. Uh, you know, uh, software guys uh, are not having ties and, and, and yeah. very different atmosphere. Uh, very rewarding but very challenging for a guy who came from a big yeah. uh, building business. Uh, that was you were the CEO of that company. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, that was that the time when we met. That's and when we met yeah, and, and when was, we started working. Yeah, and I, we must tell we have something in common also because you are, you are a singer, a nice bass, and I have been conducting male choirs, and we had that in common also. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I will be I will be singing in in, in Lahti Symphony on, on the first of May, and then Gurre Leader on on the on the fall on on. Oh on, boy! Oh boy! boy. Well, yeah, that's I, another story. But that's let, another story. Be, but hey, Napa, Napa is an interesting because very successful. You know, Napa has had been successful 25 years. Yeah. But then it started to kind of a dragging, dragging. Okay, well-developed uh, strategies, but it was not, it was not uh, 
growing as fast. Very successful. And then, then, then we started working. And I think that's a very interesting story about how you make your strategy, how you involve your people, but yet it doesn't break through. And then you need a little bit additional things. Yeah. Uh, you know, remember uh, you were involved when, when, when we had a management meeting, no, not the management meeting, okay, I call it the management meeting, but it was about 50 people. So it was about one, one third of the company's all employees. Yeah. And then we developed strategy. We had a data-based, uh, uh, you know, fact-based strategy development, uh, you know, story building, uh, you know, great past, a uh, little, uh, little bit limping. Uh, yeah. at those moments and yes we did a good strategy work but it was very difficult to communicate it. and then we went yeah. into the one page uh, process yes and then we met that and and and, and, and uh, you were a tough buyer i remember you have yeah. I, I really have to put very good stories to get you to convince no I, no you got the idea immediately but before we before i was able to sell myself to you so i, I yeah. have to make my best <laughs> I've been, been treated the same way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then we then we work with the with the one page. What do you remember about that process? Well, I, I think it was a very good very good process. Uh, uh, I remember well because yeah. you know, we had that strategy. So it was it was I would say it was well properly developed as a strategy is. So, yeah, the old strategy. Yes, yes. Yes, and intelligent people working on it. Yeah. But then the one page, uh, when we started to, uh, we started to kind of uh, question ourselves, uh, what are those things that are missing us to really get everybody involved, really get things changed? Yeah. And, and, and I, 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 would, I would maybe uh, classify them into maybe three categories. Okay. The first, uh, get well your team together in order to really crystallize what you are working on yeah. then communicate and i would say i would say avoid the one direction communication get it back get it so that when you communicate you get it feedback then you communicate they, again did i understand it correctly and then the receiver still says well maybe here and mm -hmm. then simplify yeah so go from mission to yeah. your strategy statement, and then uh, try to identify those uh, must-win battles, breakthroughs yeah. that you have to identify. You know, we had functional strategy important points. You know, we have to do this in development, we have to do this in sales, we have to do this in... Yeah. Uh, that's, 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 not, that's not the issue. It's those things that you really have to do so that your customers get value, yeah. And from that, that's a mission that you want to accomplish to the strategy, but how, how you do it. And I think that was the one. And, and then communication. You know, uh, people ask me, uh, Juha, could you tell about Napa strategy? Yeah. You, know, you don't take the 20 page PowerPoint presentation. No, you don't uh, take it. No. no. People, don't, people don't have the time. They are in, not interested, and your message doesn't come through. If you have one page, then you have a chance. You have a yeah. chance. And then those one page matters uh, need to be very essential. Okay, yeah. so when you go into that process, I think the, the key issue is that you split, split the work into some teams, couple of, let's say, from two to four teams. Yeah. And then you get those, okay, you have to, you have to ensure that those teams are motivated and empowered. Yeah. That they have the freedom to do the job and the title is correct, and then you, then you empower them to crystallize those topics that has been selected yeah. of being the limping factors of your strategy implementation. Yeah, nice. And you are, I remember there was one event uh, that happened during our work that I will never forget. What's that? And that was 
that was because I asked you before a workshop, I asked you, can I give a, a small briefing about self-management to your management team? And you said, well, well yeah, that might su suit us, you said. And then it was a Monday, I remember, and we have been working, tweaking the purpose statement and mission. And, and, and then I thought that now, now we can't now continue to do the, the, the next step that I had planned. And then I changed the program so that I took my presentation from Tuesday program to the Monday and I think it was four o'clock in the afternoon and then I started to tell the story about hey that you don't have need to have a hierarchy and bosses that you can have a self-management and it, it took I, I presented maybe 45 minutes and, and you you asked a lot of questions and what did this man do after that you know, the management team, they just decided that, hey, let's keep all the bosses and go to this self -man. And I was, and I have been telling this story, you know, hundreds of times, that they just, and, and, and then you, you say see, that, uh, I, I, you know, what I told earlier, you know, what my background a little bit, you know, yeah. um, uh, shipbuilding business is like this. It's, it's, a hierarchy. It, yeah. it's a hierarchy. It's a little bit like army. Yeah. And software business. It's it's it, it's like this. Yeah. You know, uh, software developer. Somebody makes ten. Somebody makes two. Somebody makes minus two. That's software. So in a way, uh, I had already experienced very well uh, what is the great opportunity in in in, in software type of a, a very serious long term business. I mean, not a startup. A very good business. A very good yeah. organization. Very good people. But too many layers. Yeah. Too many administrative people, too many bosses who were not bringing value. You know, yeah. managing director. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes so, you sometimes you sell, yes, and sometimes you help people. But okay, let's let's black and white it. So it was a great opportunity in in Napa type of a software company uh, to test a, a such a uh, unhier hierarchical. Uh, you know, non-bureaucratic system uh, that was systematic. You know, it does. It means that it has yeah. rules. You have to pay a lot of attention to yeah. so that you create common rules which everybody agrees. Yeah, and, and then if we, they don't agree, they can leave. Yeah, and then we did the process, but let's not talk about yeah. that. But yeah. uh, but it succeeded, and yeah. and it it flies. Yeah. It, yeah, it was really it fantastic. Was, it was, very fascinating stuff. Yes, and you are, because, I mean, there are very many companies that right from the beginning, you know, take this, this self-management in. But this was a company, 20 years old, who transformed it, hmm. and transformed their management system. And that hasn't happened in companies that I know have been yeah. worked. And, and, and I, I would say that it, it, it's never easy. And, and you have to have people, you have to have uh, persons in the company who are, willing to change yeah. or even willing to leave the company yeah. because it means that some some persons don't have any more jobs uh, yeah. that, that that's a fact but yeah. you always have to work not for yourself but for the company that's always yeah. been my principle and, yeah. and and i think that was so great in in, uh, in in napa to see that that it was possible but hey still <laughs> one page yeah, but you are, let me say just when, when I went home that Monday, you know, and I had no clue that this company and management team <laughs> will decide <laughs> to skip the hierarchy. <laughs> I, went home, I think this was the greatest business day in my life. Yeah. But we could talk an hour about that. Yeah, but I, 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 as you know, I'm no, no more working in Napa. Yeah. And I, I have heard uh, very good, very good, let's say, feedback of that uh, today. Yeah, uh, and I have also heard that some people are uncomfortable about it. Yeah, it's not only a, a, a yeah. dance on roses. There is yeah. Yeah. But, but, they, but, but finally, it has improved the operations greatly. Yeah. Never say back to one page because nowadays I'm I'm very active on on SMEs. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I as, want to talk about. Yeah, as 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 a a let's say a professional board member of uh, I say five. Uh, major corporations. Yeah, you are in five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 Germany and, too, isn't it so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Germany too. And and what's the problem of such companies? Uh, very often it is strategy. You know, so, so, all those type of companies they have a great idea. Okay, this we do. And they've been maybe working for the last uh, ten years or twenty years, or they are just uh, 
uh, yeah. newcomers in, but very often they have a problem of strategy. Okay, they are small, medium type of a company, so they never have uh, means uh, to hire uh, big, expensive uh, strategy con consultants. Yeah. So they need a very kind of a flexible, easy to access. Very often they are in different locations, also kind of a web type based uh, strategy development work. Uh, and you need to involve people. Yeah. You need to take people in and systematize, processize your strategy work. So, uh, in very simple words, I would say that this type of a one page work, that people know what they should do, you know, strategically, what are the targets, what are the customer benefits, yeah. what are the competitors, but they are missing the process. Yeah, you have, can you comment this view that I have also found that SME, small companies, you know, 10 to 25 people, they, they, they have a lot of ideas. They have so many ideas. That's a common problem. Mm -hmm. And they don't know how to find more time, you know, that so time is so valuable. They have thousand ideas. And then they recognize that their company doesn't start to fly. Mm -hmm. They don't grow enough. Uh, or sometimes they grow so much that they don't know how, how mm -hmm. to do it. But, but the point, my point is that they might not that understand that it's the strategy that is su sucks. Yeah, that strategy yeah. sucks. And can you comment this from the board level? What when you sit in the board and you see this company? So how do they do? They realize that it's a question of strategy. No, uh, well, the strategy is something too. You know, it's too theoretical for them. It's too theoretical. Yeah. yeah. And 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 why I kind of think that the, I'm not saying you're one pager, but one pager is that you force the board members, the managing director, and the, and, and the leaders there uh, to, to make one A4 where they have their main points because you cannot put more than their space. And then it kind of crystallizes. And then when you have a one page, it's easy to communicate. You ask people, hey, do you think that every, everything is here? Are these the most essential things? And do we, how do we get there? And, and, yeah. and this type of a... Uh, process uh, forming up one page strategy document uh, is, is totally possible. I've been doing that in one, one uh, of, of those companies without your assistance. Okay. Okay. Nice. How, how did it go? It's quite different one page, but it has been used now four years. Okay. Yeah, and, nice. and, and, and it always, once a year, we, we, with a board, we go through it and, and, and we, we, we Adjust it a little bit. Okay, are we are we still on the same track? Company is doing fine. Company is doing fantastically. My yeah. point is that it's 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 important to take people in. You know, even if you have uh, fifty people in the company, you take at least five six of them. Yeah. Uh, then then you ask them what are the what are the issues, what are the opportunities. Then you help them to 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 work them through, and you force everybody, you included to crystallize that in one page. No. And you iterate that. And then you communicate that. Iteration yeah. means communication. We had a, I had an experience this week that there was a company with 14 people and, and they didn't have a strategy and, and their board member also recommended that they should have. And, and, uh, and we were involved and they used our method. It took two and a half hours to create the one pager. How about, how about that? <laughs> but but then at the same time I'm working with a billion company also. Yeah. We have a six uh, workshop. Think, think about that two and a half hours uh, when 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 they review it. Yeah. And they will improve it. Yeah. So you have not start to even live with it. See, one of the strategies, big uh, loopholes are the people make fantastic strategies, but they never even look at them. <laughs> yeah, that, that is so true. Uh, let's talk a few words about implementing that after you have this kind of one page map, mm. that this is how we should sail. Mm. So what is your experience? How to get people to look on the map and, and, and to, 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 so to say, develop it further, tweak it further when, when the winds uh, uh, changes? Uh, very good question, because that's all there is. That's all there is. That's all there is that you have to take that to your, your people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you have involved correct team when creating that, 
then it's not only your job to communicate, but also the team members who are committed, who think that, yeah, I, I put value into it. I, I put work into it. My idea is there. Uh, yeah, we, we, dis we disputed it, but now it's well finalized. So, of course, uh, you as a managing director, you take the main responsibility of communicating it, but uh, all the team members will automatically communicate it because yeah, they say, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I agree with this. This exactly. is, this is what we should do. Yeah, so, exactly, because now it's not the company strategy, it's yeah. my strategy yeah. because I, I created it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so, so and, and then, then of course, then, then, then you have to ensure that, that all the wisdom that company can have is inputted into the, into the yeah. uh, strategy. So SMEs sometimes need a little bit outside assistance. They maybe need some market analysis, they need some yeah. process uh, development, and then they need some board members, they need yeah. all the good team. But when you involve your people, I mean the team, the, the company's people, uh, you empower them, uh, you value their ideas, then they will also participate in the communication. And then it starts to be not communicating, it's implementing. It's implementing. Everybody lives accordingly. I think the self-management, self-management, uh, I, I just have a side note on it. The self-management self, self is, is in that respect a, a, a very powerful way of implementing things because there's, <laughs> there are no bosses to do things. You have to do it. And it's the yeah. same thing with a good strategy development work, that when people have participated, uh, argued, even fighted with it, okay, this is the direction, these are the important things, this is our strategy goal, then they will live, it, live with it. And then when they find abnormalities, that you have to make a little bit twist here the next year. Yeah then it starts to live. Yeah. Hey, Juha, I love your charisma when you talk, that, that you are so inspiring. I think that, that you, I understand. You, you, you are party to be played. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love, and, and your story coming from these 10,000 people and selling billion, uh, billion dollar ships, and then you come down to the software and now in, in your, your life stage now, now you are sitting in boardrooms with smaller companies. I think it's a fantastic story. You are, let's wrap up by okay. giving, uh, giving advice to these listeners now. If I'm a, uh, uh, if I'm a, a founder, CEO of a, of a small business, 10 to 25 people, what is your advice to me concerning strategy? Uh, I, I, first, of course, you have to understand that you have to have a strategy. Thank you for that. You have to, uh, because it's 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 similar thing that that companies companies must have people to work with. So they have to have a direction, and they have to analyze what are those barriers to bring you successfully to your. So let me ch challenge you. Why do you have to have one? Yeah, why, what is why, why, why do companies exist? They, they want to bring value to their, their stakeholders, their customers. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that's their existence. But why do they, Johan, need a strategy? Okay, they need a strategy to, to, to guide everybody to the same direction. No, that's the easy answer. Thank you. Very crisp and clear. Yeah. Okay. So they, what, and, and successfully. Yeah. So that it's fun and nice. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you, you have, first, you have to understand that you need clear, simple, directions where to go yeah so that people are not people don't feel that you are telling them how this should happen that they they usually uh, understand that okay this is how we do it so you have to have a strategy then you have to involve people empower them exactly. challenge them uh, take them with uh, and work together uh, not hierarchically but in a team way so that they they come up with their ideas. Then, of course, you, 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 have to, you have to manage that process. Yes. So that it's not only uh, talking with a cup of coffee, fantastic ideas. Yeah. So you have a systematic process to, to guide uh, that uh, discussions where you create your strategy. Then you have to crystallize it. And my, my, my suggestion is that don't make it complex. 
yeah. it might be complex uh, data wise you know it might be that it's not an easy matter you know businesses are not easy but you yeah. have to simplify it so my, my clear clear thing is that that have a target that you are able to communicate that with one page you may have then a longer strategy to back up that yeah. you know, data and, and, and whatever but you have to have it on one page because when you force yourself to do it then you crystallize yeah. then then i think my, my I, I always I, I i say i have learned that also in hard way uh, communication is key communication I mean, yeah. of course you have involved your people but you still have to ensure that you communicate you ensure that your strategy is 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 communicated so that it starts to live yeah, you, you, you know, you have, when I listen to you, I come to think of one, one secret weapon or secret thing that the consultant must do. When I listen to you, I get the feeling in my body. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you are the CEO and I get this feeling as a consultant, then I know that your p people get the same feeling. So mm -hmm. this is great Hope information. So. And you know what I would like to thank you? I got so inspired now by your story that I would like to work for you because... <laughs> <laughs> because you are a great leader. Yeah, yeah. In, in one of my companies, we have an empty uh, position open. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have. We don't pay a big salary. Hey, you have. Thank you for this. I think your advice was was in, immensely valuable, and I, and I, and I love love your personality that that you explain it. You are a fireman. <laughs> thank <laughs> you, you have, for this. And good luck with all yeah. your companies. I Marcus, know they will fly. Marcus, good luck for you. I think I, I, I think what you bring uh, to to companies is a joyful, systematic process of strategy development, and I you think that's a great value. Thank you, Max. thank you, brother. Hello. All right.